Dude, did you see that idiot in the Leafs jersey sitting right up front at the Kings game? Are you kidding me? That guy's the reason the Kings played so well. He made them play better. How the hell did that guy make the game better? Because before the game, Daryl Sutter told him, hey, if you lose this game, I'm trading you to the Leafs. Woo! Boom in the car! Are you just gonna get hammered? Get me a toaster! Magic Angel Robot from Winnipeg! What the hell are you talking about? This team is ruining my life! The Los Angeles Kings win 5-2 over the Chicago Blackhawks, and they take a 3-1 stranglehold. These Kings look good. These Kings look amazing. I mean, we haven't seen a Kings team this good since, like, two years ago. Damn you and your consistently good team. What's it like? I need to know. Wow, wow, wow. Did the Kings dismantle the Blackhawks in this one? And here's the thing. It wasn't really overwhelming. For a game that saw seven goals, six if you don't count the empty netter, there were only 45 shots between these guys. In fact, Chicago even won the shot battle 24 to 21. But again, with the Kings, it's variety. Three goals in the opening period, two on the power play, three different players, three different ways. And they all start with putting it on the net. Jake Muzzin again. Man, holy crap, is this guy underrated. Marion Gabrick paying the price in front. That soft European. And what a feed by Justin Williams to Dustin Brown. And last time I talked about these two teams, Chicago's discipline was a problem. At least in the third period it was. And you look at the first period and go, two power play goals against, there it is, killing them again. No, Chicago took as many penalties as the Kings did in the first two and two. Now that's one thing I was reading. Another I was reading is, oh, Chicago just looks so emotionally drained and downtrodden and oh. I mean, maybe they are. I mean, I'd be frustrated if I was playing the LA Kings. I mean, what a miserable style. They hit you every chance they get. Which is frustrating because when they're not hitting you, they have the puck. But let's get it together here, guys. Blackhawks fans, I'm sure you'll back me up on this. Is it possible that the LA Kings have just looked better so far? Mm-hmm. So yeah, the Chicago Blackhawks might be frustrated and downtrodden and emotionally drained and all these other things that people are saying. But the reason is the Kings. This isn't some magical advantage the Kings have over the Blackhawks. It's something they created, which makes it even more scary. And Drew Doughty scores in the second. And this game's basically in the bag. But then Chicago perked up. Because why be sad when you can be sawed? Brandon saw a total gem in the Blackhawks have life. Which is scary and I'll get to that. Because Captain Playoffs, Dustin Penner 2.0, Brian Bickle scores his seventh. The Hawks are within two. And most other teams within two. <laughs> Whatever. But the Blackhawks? <laughs> But of course that's the most the Hawks can muster. Tanner Pearson puts the final goal in the net to make it 5-2. Tanner Pearson, by the way, of that 70s line. A lot of people going, oh, they're calling that line that 70s line and uh, I don't know where it came from. Homie, it came from the Royal Half. At the Royal Half on Twitter, theroyalhalf.com. Okay. But it's called that 70s line because Tanner Pearson, Jeff Carter, and Tyler Toffoli, all 70s numbers. Not a thing to do. But snipe on you. And that's another example of the variety that I talked about with the Kings. 22 players in these playoffs have at least 11 points. Eight of them are Kings, including the top four. Anze Kopitar, Jeff Carter, Marion Gabrick, and now Justin Williams joins them up there as well. Drew Doughty on D, Jake Muzzin on D, Tyler Toffoli on that 70s line, and Tanner Pearson on that 70s line. So their top two lines are clicking and they got at least two defensemen that are scoring like forwards. And with all this talk about the Hawks being all emotionally drained and tired, this is the Kings third series and the first two went to game seven. But rather than have that hurt them, it almost seems to have helped them. And they're getting better, which is scary. But you know what else is scary? You can't look at this as the Kings are one win away from the Stanley Cup final. Look at it now as the Kings are taxed with the task of eliminating the Chicago Blackhawks. Really? Like even though they're up 3-1, I'm like, really? So you're just going to eliminate the Chicago Blackhawks. In Chicago. So you're just going to walk into the madhouse on Madison and just they're gone. That's it? I, uh, uh, good luck with that. Hey, it's possible. There's only two teams in that game. You got a 50% chance. But much like the Los Angeles Kings, the Chicago Blackhawks do not like to go down without a fight. And a few renditions of Chelsea Dagger on the way. And man, I know the Dangle Jinx is going so strong in these playoffs, but, oh, Hawks fans, I don't want to do this to you, but I just... I want to say what I feel in my heart. I can't. I can't. I won't do that to you. I won't. Uh. The Blackhawks are going to win game five. I oh, I just hit my head off my Jumbotron lamp. Friggin' stupid leaves hurting me every chance they get. But I do. I just, I think they're going to win game five. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So Chicago, I want to give you the credit that you won't be out yet. But uh, really, LA Kings, congratulations on your birth in the final. Did I just double jinx? Is the game even allowed to happen now? And that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends. Some links below. And I will see you next time.